John was a successful businessman who thought he knew everything about investments. He had made several profitable investments in the past and felt confident in his ability to make the right decisions. However, as time went by, he started to realize that some of his investments were not performing as well as he had hoped. He was frustrated and couldn't understand why his decisions were not paying off. One day, John stumbled upon a book called Stop, Think, Invest, written by Michael Bailey. The book talked about the concept of behavioral economics and how emotions and life experiences can influence investment decisions. John was intrigued and decided to watch the accompanying video to learn more. This video discussed how being too close to a company can blind investors to potential problems. John realized that this was what had happened to him in the past. He had been so focused on the company's success that he had not noticed the warning signs that could have prevented his losses. John also learned about the impact of risk aversion and loss aversion on investment decisions. He was shocked to realize that his fear of losing money had been holding him back from making the right decisions. He understood that he needed to change his approach and be willing to take calculated risks. Finally, the video emphasized the importance of staying vigilant and not setting it and forgetting it. John realized that he had fallen into this trap and had not been monitoring his investments closely enough. He learned that he needed to regularly review his portfolio and make adjustments if necessary. Thanks to the insights gained from Stop, Think, Invest, John became a better investor. He was able to overcome his biases and make informed decisions that led to a more profitable portfolio. He was grateful for the lessons he had learned and was eager to share them with others to help them avoid the common investment pitfalls. Chapter 1. One of the key insights from behavioral economics is that emotions and biases can cloud our judgment and lead us to make poor investment decisions. Just like the investors in GE who were blinded by their confidence in the company and their CEO's positive outlook, many people fall into the trap of making decisions based on what they want to believe, rather than what the facts are telling them. In his book, Stop, Think, Invest, Michael Bailey has outlined a comprehensive approach to investment decision-making that incorporates the principles of behavioral economics. He has identified 12 steps in the stock-picking process, each of which is designed to help investors avoid common pitfalls and make more informed decisions. Some of the tips from Bailey's 12 steps include understanding your own biases and emotions. Before you start investing, it's important to understand your own biases and emotions and how they may impact your investment decisions. Evaluating potential investments objectively, Bailey recommends taking a step back and looking at the facts and numbers rather than relying on gut feelings or emotions. Considering the bigger picture, when making investment decisions, it's important to consider not only the short-term performance of a stock, but also its long-term potential and the overall market trends. Regularly monitoring your portfolio. Regular monitoring of your portfolio is crucial to ensure that you are aware of any changes in market conditions or the performance of individual stocks. By following these tips and the other insights outlined in this video, you can develop a more informed and disciplined approach to investment decision-making and avoid the common pitfalls that have tripped up so many investors in the past. Chapter 2. Bailey used the concept of libertarian paternalism to invest in the market. He started with an open-minded approach, considering various long-term investment options such as cloud computing, cybersecurity, and self-driving cars. He then narrowed down his choices using his knowledge and exerting his influence to guide the selection process in the direction of cybersecurity. This led him to discover Palo Alto Networks as a good investment opportunity as the company was big enough to generate profits but small enough to undergo change and growth in the future. Bailey believed that cybersecurity would have long-term relevance in the market, and his strategy of combining libertarian and paternalistic approaches paid off in the end. Chapter 3. The confirmation bias is another common pitfall in the research phase of stock picking. This is when you focus on information that supports your existing beliefs and ignore information that contradicts it. To avoid confirmation bias, make sure to consider a variety of sources, including those that may challenge your initial assumptions. Additionally, try to be open-minded and consider alternative perspectives. 
It may be helpful to write down your reasons for choosing a stock and regularly revisit them to ensure you are not being influenced by your biases. In conclusion, it is important to be aware of these biases and take steps to neutralize them when conducting research and picking stocks. Be mindful of System 1 and System 2 thinking, be aware of the inside and outside views, guard against availability and confirmation biases, and consider a range of risk levels. With these strategies in place, you can make informed and unbiased decisions in your stock picking process. Chapter 4. Crafting an investment thesis and forming an investment committee are essential for successful investing. An investment thesis serves as a written plan for the rationale behind choosing a stock, considering multiple perspectives and avoiding biases. An investment committee, composed of impartial professionals, helps debate the pros and cons of investment opportunities and ensures that plans are realistic. To maximize its effectiveness, it's important to encourage open discussion and break the committee into smaller groups to avoid behavioral pitfalls. These tools can help make informed investment decisions, minimize risk, and ensure long-term success. Chapter 5. Monitoring and analyzing the early results of your investment is crucial, but it's also important to be aware of the human behavior biases that can come into play. Loss aversion and the media echo chamber can lead to bad investment decisions, but by being aware of these biases and focusing on big picture thinking, you can avoid making hasty decisions. Even if a stock takes a tumble, it's important to understand why it happened and not to be swayed by media noise or market panic. A well-researched investment thesis can help guide you in difficult times and give you the confidence to stick with a promising investment even in tough conditions, such as a recession. With patience, persistence and a focus on the long term, you can make sound investment decisions and achieve your financial goals. Chapter 6. Investing can be a challenging and emotional journey, but by having a growth mindset, embracing a big-picture outlook and avoiding common pitfalls like the break-even effect, anchoring, and regret-based decisions, you can increase your chances of success. Adopt a system of regularly re-evaluating your investment thesis, engage in System 2 thinking, and diversify your portfolio. Above all, keep an open mind, continue to learn, and don't let early missteps discourage you. With time and patience, investing can become a rewarding and enjoyable experience. Summary Adopting a growth mindset is crucial for successful investing. This means being open to learning and improvement, not letting past successes or failures define you, and continuously re-evaluating your investment thesis. It's important to also be aware of common behavioral pitfalls such as the break-even effect, anchoring, and making decisions based on negative feelings like regret. Finally, diversification is important for risk management. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, but instead create a balanced portfolio that includes a mix of low-risk and high-risk investments. In conclusion, by being mindful of behavioral biases and applying the concepts of behavioral economics, you can make more informed investment decisions and avoid potential mistakes. Keep learning, stay focused, and don't be afraid to make mistakes, as long as you learn from them. Investing can be a fun and rewarding journey with the right approach. Now, the insights and knowledge I gained from reading, stop, think, invest, were phenomenal. I highly recommend it. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more great content. Trust me, you won't regret it.